hey y'all hey let's get into this intuitive reading this tarot card reading this tarot card message for funky deneva this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not you have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself if you're new here welcome and if you're always here welcome back friend welcome back welcome back welcome back okay so let's get into this reading for funky deneva all right spirit is acknowledging um on the surface here there's artificial denial cover-up trickery superficiality frivolity foolishness and requesting for the collective to take a closer look this is being communicated upon that it is affecting his uh, heart chakra um, that he needs to open up his third eye and that he needs to get grounded. Spirit is also acknowledging that the delays and the obstacles that he is having right now makes him feel like there's a standstill and this is on purpose. This is divine, okay, because they want you to take um, accountability and responsibility. They want you to see yourself. They want you to see your reflection and ask yourself, how did you get here? What is the next step? What are you going to do to improve or change it? How are you going to get back onto your righteous path? I do see water. We could be talking about a water sign. Or this could just be emotional. I do see mountains in the background, which lets me know that he's dealing with ups and downs. There is a treasured objective to this boat being stalled here, okay? Um, so there is purpose, determination, smooth sailing, and assistance. The spiritual team is trying to tap in and assist you. So be open to the assistance. Spirit is also acknowledging that this is the university of the universe. So buckle up. Put that seatbelt on. Look at them rearview mirrors. Adjust your chair and get ready for the ride, okay? Focus forward. Anticipate good things. Because good things will come when you have anticipation for good things and guess what sometimes good things don't come and that is a part of it that's the gotcha gotcha of living in this realm okay so hold on tight it is really um you know kind of not really but it, it choices matter in this realm Cho we all get a choice this is the most powerful thing most powerful tool that we have in our tool belt is the, the, the power of choice to know that you do have choice you know what are you going to do with it good choices equal good karma bad choices equal bad karma i do know this every action has a reaction Whose law? Whose theory is that? Uh, I forgot. But anyway, Spirit is saying subconsciously that you're dealing with a storm right now. It is raining cats and dogs because you need to cleanse. You need to release. You need to cleanse and release, cleanse and release. But before you can cleanse, you have to what? Acknowledge what is going on. Uh, what part do you play? What role do you play? Where did you go left when you should have went right? Okay. And Spirit says, does this have something to do with, again, water, water, water? We can talk about a water sign or is that it's just emotional, but you being lured and tempted into this emotional abyss and being swallowed up, unable to fight, unable to swim, unable to breathe, unable to catch your breath, it feels like, because you were falling for this offer and this proposal of love or temptation, intimacy, and our adder. Okay. Okay, sending you love and light, Funky Deneva. Again, this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Okay, so for Funky Deneva, thank you, Spirit. Ashe, 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 oh. Okay. We do get the one ring circus in reverse. One ring circus in reverse. 15 resonates with you. Also, six resonates with you. Okay. If you think that the sun won't rise without you, then it's time to change. Perhaps you believe no one will be there to help you or you expect that you have to do all the work, emotional or otherwise. This is a fear-based idea and only serves to alienate you from others by taking away their right to participate. Receiving the One Ring Circus card may indicate the misuse of power. Give it up. Let go of the need to control how the wind blows and let others play their part. You don't need to be invincible, have all the answers, or be the savior. Things will get done if you step out of your own own way yet another meaning for this card suggests that someone else is maybe trying to control you this needs to be addressed don't be afraid to set a boundary this is a wonderful step to interdependence consider the example of two trees planted side by side sharing the sunlight equally neither overshadowing the other you need to address that situation because that situation feels like it has you bound okay not my business not my problem all right funky deneva Ooh, ooh, thank you, Spirit. Spirit said, are you single? It's living single. Oh, in the 90s kind of world. I'm glad I got my best. Okay, so you're single. You sit on the couch. You, you know, dealing with whatever you're dealing with. Sitting on the, on the, uh, what they call that? The love chair. What they call it? Oh, I can't think of the name of it. Ugh. 
goodness. Is it called Love Cheerio? What is it called? It's right there. It's right there. Anyway, Spirit is saying subconsciously, this has to do with some earth sign energy, okay? Um, you're conforming to this energy subconsciously. You're like, look, that's what it is. I'm not about to argue with you, okay? Um, could be a Taurus, actually. Spirit is also, uh-oh, Spirit says something. It's on the bottom of the deck. Spirit said, in this energy, the reason why you're single is because you're ready to start over. You're like, you know what? I'm unprepared completely. This is taking me, you know, um... Like you feel like the wind was was pulled was pushed out of you, like the rug was pulled from up under you. It's taking you totally by surprise in this energy, okay? But there's some risk in this, a new beginning, starting over, um, transformation, doing it now, okay? Trying now. You're excited about it, but this is level zero, okay? Spirit is also acknowledging in the middle of the deck the way others view you is none of your business, okay? Not your business, not your problem. Funky Deneva, mm -hmm. Funky Deneva, what's the T spirit is acknowledging ain't shit. Now this is layered, <laughs> cause you got it. If you gonna take, if you, Grandma say, if you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. This is layered. Spirit said, there's something that you'd have done that you done done ain't shit. But then you also pushing and projecting this energy ain't shit on someone else. All right, spirit is acknowledging that there's a dirty offer of love, but that ain't shit. Okay, say no. It's dirty off us, a dirty offer of love, okay? And in the middle of the deck, you feel that you are idolized, that you are loved and respected and admired, okay? Um, that all these things, like when it comes to you, you're like, mm, not me. Um, but Spirit said you need to take a pause right now to reflect. Second time we hear this, this is a resonating thing for you. That it's time to reflect and ask yourself, how did we get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Okay, Spirit is also acknowledging that you feel very threatened and bothered and intimidated. And so you're moving on. Okay, you're moving. Spirit is saying, and you're also waiting. What you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Funky Deneva, current energy. Okay, Spirit is acknowledging there's manipulation in your energy field. Wastefulness and scattered energy. Remember, whatever you put out in the universe, it comes right back. The chickens will come home to roost. You never know how karma is going to get you, but it's going to get you good karma and bad karma. It's just, it's the balance of it, okay? With the magician. So what intentions have you been putting out there? Spirit says you lack faith right now. You're focusing on the negative and you're bored with the star card. And Spirit is also saying the full card comes out again. So this is taking a chance, uh, being risky, a new path, adventure now, self-discovery, uh, beginning a new journey. It is risk at, at, with this because there's something that you just feel like you're, you're not completely prepared for it, but you're going about it anyway, okay? In the middle of the deck with the Six of Pentacles, Spirit said that you will have gained full employment again there will be equality and gratitude and investors okay sending you love and light uh funky deneva was his biggest obstacle thank you spirit okay so being forceful domineering in a weak leader is a big obstacle with the king of wands uh fire sign could be passionate could be focusing on uh how how chaotic it feels in the area of business but also in the area of passion uh it's fizzling out spirit is also acknowledging with the nine of swords there is an energy of um an obstacle an energy of op of, of having an obstacle in learning to cope uh Feeling like there's a light at the end of the tunnel um, and recovery is an obstacle. Subconsciously, spirit is acknowledging, reclaiming your power is an obstacle. Freedom is an obstacle. Leaving a bad situation is an obstacle with the death card in reverse. And with the five of swords, sacrifice is an obstacle. Arrest is an obstacle and resolution with the five of swords. Thinking negative, negative self-talk, okay? What's next for Funky Beniva? Thank you. All right. Working too hard, dependency, and no style with the Nine of Pentacles. Conforming to some things that you typically wouldn't con conform to to uh, make some money. Spirit is also acknowledging, but this is subconsciously an end of punishment. You're able to fight back. Do what you need to do. Like, no one should be able to control you and control how you feel and what you say and what you do to that extent. Um, you know, and Spirit is acknowledging that that's on, on a very surface level, what I'm, what I'm expressing at this moment. But Spirit is also acknowledging that this gives you some freedom to do some things your way. Okay? All right. In the middle of the deck, Spirit said, love us. Love us. This is really about choices. So there is some um, energy of a lover, an intimate relationship, making a choice, soulmate, partnership, and balance. But this is really about making a choice. Is this what you really want to do? Because Spirit is acknowledging that this is in the middle of the deck. So if it doesn't already hear, it is coming. And then you say you were single. Mm, maybe not for long. This reading is alleged. 
and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does. 